I was asked to become a school teacher <coughs> in the Free Muslim Church schools for two years. And then I was told to go back to the Pope College. And that was 1946. And I was there from 19... 46 until 1951 after the move of the college from uh, Nafuaru to Toloa. I went away in 1951. I went to Seattle Thai Theological College and I came overseas went back to DuPont College in 1959 <coughs> and then 59 to 63 and then I was told to take up the role of being the head tutor from 1963 to 1969 and then in 1970, I was told to take up the role of the principal of Duval College. And uh, after 1971, I think the chiefs got sick of me, so I was told to get out of Duval College. And now I am here. I would like to thank both Clive and David for sharing with us their experiences at the World College. I would like to share with you what has been written down by non tongans non-old collegians of the old college, but the observation and experience. I've got here three people, but I think two will be enough. The first one, is a volunteer from South Australia. Helen and I met him in 2014. He came to the Royal College and worked there as a volunteer in a farm. And again last year we met him. And this is what he wrote. I had the absolute privilege of witnessing firsthand the selfless characters of the young men from DeVoe College. The occasion was a field trip to observe vegetable and mushroom growing at the Baini Agricultural Research Station. The truck that transported the 20 students and myself needed to do a delivery. So I said that I would walk the boys back to the main road, that is four kilometers away, and meet the truck there for the return journey. It was very late in the day and I was unsure if the students would have been too late for dinner at the college. Sasa is smiling when I talk about dinner. These boys had worked hard all afternoon and walked a long way, 
So when we arrived at the main road, I sighted a small bakery where we meet to, to meet the truck. Where we meet the truck. I checked my pocket for money and found that I had enough to go into the bakery and purchased four large bottles of cold drink, a tub of butter, and ten loaves of bread. This is a real treat for the boys. They fill up half a loaf of bread with a huge dog of butter. Tasty, but a, prote a potential cholesterol risk. However, appreciating their bounty and its normal practice, they sat down in a circle and started to give thanks before sharing bread. But prior to eating, one student from the circle stood up and took a loaf of bread over to an extremely emaciated elderly man sitting on the other side of the bakery. There was no conversation. He just placed a loaf gently into the old gentleman's hands and then returned to the circle where the 20 boys then proceeded to share the food equally prior to bowing their heads to give thanks. I immediately checked my cash and found that I had just enough to go back into the bakery to purchase another loaf for them. I felt so blessed that I had the privilege of witnessing the hearts of these five young men. Remembering these students were only six, 14 to 16 year olds who would have been extremely hungry and probably due to their late return would miss out on board cassava tea. My name is Joata. But they thought beyond self. I was so overcome that I had to walk around the side of the bakery and shed a tear because I was witnessing Christ's reaction through these boys. I was hungry and you fed me. In the last one, from a principal 70, more than 70 years ago, the Reverend Evan Newman, principal from 1944 to 1947. This is what he wrote. There is one proof of a good school. It sends out boys who are so trained that they become honest and faithful servants of their people. We thank God that Dubok College has given to Tonga many men of this kind. Some have been known throughout the kingdom as ministers of the church, as leaders in government, as teachers of the children, as missionaries in other lands. Many others have lived quietly in the villages, but what they learned at the Bow College has helped them to be good husbands and fathers, loyal members of the church, sensible farmers and kind friends. In these days, much new knowledge is being given Many new and wonderful things are being brought to the people. New ideas and influences are coming from the rest of the world. The friends and supporters of DuPont College pray that it will help the boys to understand the new things, 
to choose those that are good and to use them well. May they learn that God is king over all the world and wills that men should receive his gifts and obey his laws of love. The Lord Jesus said to his followers, You are the light of the world. The glory of the Pope College is that it has helped many in Tonga to be the light. May the Pope College continue to have this truest success through all the years in which God may allow it to serve the Tongan nation in the name of his church. Enough for now, thank you.